A false alarm, but a terrifying one for parents as they waited for answers and for students who huddled in their classrooms, not knowing what exactly was happening. Well, new special Stan Rescone has that part of the story for us. He joins us live right now. Dan, sounds like teachers also acted pretty quickly here. Yeah, Mike, according to the students that we spoke to, many of the teachers knew exactly what to do. But for those teachers, the students, and also some of the parents out here, this was not just some kind of a drill here to them. They believe that it may be an active shooter happening. That's why everyone was so scared. Immediate panic. A frightening scene for parents and loved ones outside Granger Elementary. I was just freaking out so bad. I was crying. Police everywhere. And I looked out my window and there were all the cops right here and I just knew something bad was going on. Other parents were getting ring alerts. It kept saying active shooter at the school. But no word as to what was really happening. I started crying. I was very scared and freaking out. I was panicked. I was scared. Students tell me when they heard the popping noise at about 1130, they thought for sure it was gunfire inside the school. That's when teachers jumped into action to protect the kids. When suddenly I just hear like loud booms and she says to everyone, did you hear that? She started closing the door and she told she turned off the lights and told everybody that it's locked down and we all hid like in the corners. We were just really scared trying to calm down each other. But I was shivering so much and my other um, classmates, um, they were also shivering. The teacher like locked the door. We all huddled up into a corner hoping that we don't uh, that the sh school shooter doesn't get us. People were crying in my class. Hawa says her teacher read them a book to try and calm the nerves. She did so good. She was trying to protect them. After the noon hour, the false alarm was sent out and students who were evacuated got to go back inside their classrooms. Parents picking up their kids, all holding them a little tighter. It's a relief. And thankful for the quick action of police, even though it was just a science project. They handled it really good. I'm glad that there was this many cops. Better safe than sorry, right? Yeah, better safe than sorry there. As far as the teachers and also the parents and the students, a great learning experience here as to what they did right there. I'm sure this will be talked about in the days ahead. Mike, back to you. Yeah, poor kid talking about shivering him and his classmates. You can only imagine what they were yeah. feeling. Glad it wasn't what we thought it was. Yeah. Dan, thank you.